Hi, I'm Professor Stephanie, and in this video I'm going to show you about some of the supplies and how I use them and see if that will be helpful for you too. Uh, this is a fantastic marker pad that I'm asking you to buy. Uh, the marker sits on top of it. It's very rich. It really does a great job. I do all of my own artwork on, with this pad, so I love it, so I think you will too. And the pad is 9 by 12, and you're going to want to work with 8.5 by 11 uh, size sheets of paper. So you're going to take your large paper and use tools that you used before in your um, principal's class. This is, this is my self-peeling mat, and I'm going to take two in, uh, an inch off the bottom. Since this is 12, I want to make this 11. It's a little awkward. As you can see I'm using my tools, like you use your tools, it's kind of backwards for me, but there you go. So now I have 11, and then I'm going to take a half inch off here, and what I do here is I mark eight and a half, eight and a half, and then I'll put my ruler down and cut it. I can't really do it here, it's kind of awkward, but what I come up with is a eight and a half sheet of paper. And the reason this is important is because you're going to put this paper into your copy machine when you get an, the assignment, and you're going to print out the assignment on your paper. That's going to look. We're actually going to work on a floor plan for one of the assignments. So you're going to start with your eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper that you cut down from the pad itself. You're going to put it into your copy machine, and you're going to copy the assignment right onto here, and this is what you're going to mark her with. And then what I do is I take that image, and I actually have another one, this one, get, I use as an example, and I take the back of the pad, I have lots of them, this is the piece of cardboard that comes with it, and I, I think I'll go back and work with this, I'll take that 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and my little plastic ruler, and I will put this on my pad, this little cardboard, okay, there I've got it straight, with my drafting dots, okay. I use uh, drafting equipment with my art and my rendering and my teaching, so here we go. I put this right onto here, and I'll take put the tape on the bottom, and then oftentimes, too, I will create a base on the bottom, and I'll, I'll draw a line there, and I will use this as a place to sample markers, okay? So if I'm kind of busy and I want to sample some markers, and I'm going to check out the yellows, and I just want to see what it looks like, and I might say, ooh, I like that first one, I know I do. Then when I go to scan this or photograph, I only include what's happening right here, okay? I don't need to see this. I may ask for it a couple of times, but look for that because I want to be sure you're paying attention to things like that. The other thing is that's helpful for me is that I keep this um, in a file. And sometimes I'll do something similar and I'll say, you know what, I did a great combination of yellows and golds and, and oranges. What did I use? And I'll even make a note of what this is right next to it so that then I have a visual color reference for what I did in the rendering, but I don't include them together. This is going to be the rendering. This is going to be my, my own little notes on the page. Okay, so you've got your pad, you're going to just cut it down using your tools, you're going to make, possibly tape this on the board, and then be sure to watch your videos. I give you really good cues on how to be successful. Students have a great success rate in this class, especially if they work at it and especially if they give it time. So don't forget to mark the calendar, and I look forward to working with you this semester. Thank you.